Hi, Fire Family, the Ivy Phoenix here with a divine counterpart reading for you beautiful, beautiful divine feminine souls. Um, I hope that you enjoy this. I am going to do two sets of just some twin flame energy. Um, how it's outlined already or what I feel like it's going to do is it's going to show energy where you're currently at that is kind of passing through. And then we're going to see, you know, how you're going to be proceeding forward. We're going to pull, you know, some karmic uh, energy, not necessarily, you know, like any type of karmic relationships or anything like that. But what is kind of the root cause of, you know, what you're dealing with in the current moment? We'll get some messages from spirit and, of course, kind of see um, again just how things are going to be proceeding forward uh, for yourself, for yourself. This is not about... Um, pursuing the divine masculine but of course you know as channel messages come in i will share them with you so let's just get into it and kind of see what the messages are what do we have going on with the divine feminine right now okay this. well that's nice coming into your power i love it i love it <laughs> That is wonderful because um, I believe that that is truly what's happening. Um, yesterday, I put up some, you know, kind of placeholders of, um, you know, the, the check-ins that I, I do. The answer is yes. Look at these positive vibes, Divine Feminines. There's definitely been a shift in your energy. Um, and we've talked about it in previous videos where it was kind of already headed in that direction, where the connection may not have been as much of a priority as it was in the past, but that was more from you forcing yourself to not deal with it. That was more from you still in that lower level energy where it was more like, oh, to heck with this. You know, it's still too stressful, but you, you weren't coming from a place of forgiveness. We have big dreams that is coming out next. You weren't coming from a place of unconditional love. You weren't coming from a place that was high vibrational. It was simply just because you were over it. You're over the disappointment. And, and, and by over it, I don't say like you've healed from it, <laughs> even though that comes out next. Oh, I'm loving this. This also came out with... Um, this is my masculine's reading, which I'm sure you probably have already seen or will be seen next after watching this. Um, it's not to say that you were over it from a healing perspective. It was just like, oh, I'm just so done with this. You know, like that sarcasm that let me sit up here and say it because I'm, I'm, I'm actually hurting. Okay, let's get a couple more cards, please. But like I was saying, I feel like this first group of messages is more of, you know, what you're currently in. The inner, Why am I itching on my side? Oh, it's bothering the heck out of me. Um, mm. Okay, so um, I understand that a, a lot of viewers, you viewers of mine at least, we, we all may have different views. I have said it before, you know, I am a um, Christian. That is where my light comes from. Um, not in the traditional sense, you know. It's, it's, it's a different type of energy for, and we can say that message for another day. But um, where I'm itching is actually like when you're thinking about Adam and Eve and Eve, the story, the story of you know, Eve being created. I'm itching on my rib cage. It's interesting. Let's get some more cards. A couple more, please. Thank you. Messages for the divine feminine. All right, energy, please. Messages for the divine feminine. All right, energy, please. Okay, that one was in. Okay, we got three actually. Dark Knight of the Soul, Contemplation, and Spring. Bottom of the deck, Free Will. I was just really hammering this in 
to the Divine Masculine's um, reading towards the end there. Um, so I won't totally recap what has come out. We're just going to stick to this message here. Divine feminine energy, like I said, I definitely feel as if, you know, a lot of you are really coming into the places that you weren't before. What I was saying that you weren't coming from a place of unconditional love, you're arriving there. You weren't coming from a place of forgiveness, you're arriving there. You're doing all of these things because the focus is now back on you. It may have taken frustration for you to get there. It may have taken the disappointment of nothing happening with your counterpart to get there. Um, for those of you that may have reunited, you may have separated again. You know, it's and it's because your souls know that you're looking for the long lasting connection. Your souls know that you are looking for something that is truly high vibrational to sustain, you know, to sustain itself, to last a long time it's long-term partnership you know it's not to keep going through the push and the pull and so you've been wondering if maybe you've been making the right decision the answer is yes you've been wondering if your counterpart still loves you the answer is yes i feel like everything that you have been trying to get answers for you already know you already know so the constant asking has just been for confirmation. Why? Because you've been coming from a place of fear. Some of you have become silent on the matter. That's still from a place of fear. You know, there's no, there's no problem in talking about it. There's no problem in working through it and all those types of things. Um, it, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to acknowledge whatever you're feeling in that moment, if it is positive, if it is high vibrational. If not, you still have some work to do. But what has taken more precedence for you are the dreams that you still have, whether or not your divine counterpart is in the picture. And that is what is leading to true healing. That is what is finally going to get you out of this next stage of the dark night of the soul. You've gone through it on an individual level. You've now been roped back and because and you did that at first because it was to help you get over the mountain um, of what a divine counterpart relationship is, right? And you were the one who was supposed to be pulling along your counterpart now that they have finally awakened now that they are now making the conscious choice to deal with themselves you are being wrapped back in because they're here because they're doing the shadow work so you're going into this again and it's a little bit easier you know uh, like i like i was already explaining you have already been having those thoughts of oh, why am i in this i'm done with it blah 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 blah. we've been there we've done that and it's because you were going back through it again and now the divine masculine can handle it more so on their own and again you are putting your focus into your big dreams and continuing your healing process so this contemplating what i feel is since the spring is the free will that you've had and you finally have been no noticing that this has been about your self-worth it does not matter if it is your counterpart it does not matter if it's friend family or foe it is all about the boundaries you set and the choices that you choose to make and i feel like a lot of you are burnt out you're tired and again i'm not this time i'm not talking about the tiredness of you know just being disappointed or any anything like that your soul has been weighed down you have put so much energy into this connection you have had those bouts of like but i still cannot believe that they did that you have sat there and you talk to yourself about, you know, their, their leaving and how it, it transpired and what your ideal outcome would be. You know, an apology, all the other type of stuff. You've been wondering when it's going to be returning back to you. And um, 
you know, you you just you were in this state. You were in this state. And now, you know, as time is moving on, now that we're in the summer, I just feel like there is there's just more free will for you that is being chosen to advance yourself. And I just, I totally feel like my heart chakra opening up there. You are making yourself available for love, real love, whoever that comes from in regards to, you know, friends and family. Let me put it that way. And you, as much as you are willing to receive it, you are also going to be giving it divine feminines. So let's look at, um, you know, kind of how this is going to be progressing for you. Just funny, my eyes just fixated on new direction. Right there. It kind of slid out. Okay, summer. We're here now. We're here now. That's what I feel. That's that's this summer. This what we're in right now. Um, if you are in the northern hemisphere, okay. But take it as now. Okay, Just take it as now. No, old deck was trying to fall there. Get back together. Divine feminines, please. Oh, okay. Observing nostalgia. Hmm. Mirroring. Just popping out free will. Going strong there. Let's get one more for you. And that's the one, okay? Lessons. And new direction. <laughs> I love spirit. I really, really do. I was trying to peek out here. Mask. All right. So how is this playing out for you right now? Right now, in this season, okay? We have observing. My first instinct is to say that this is what you want to do because you're here. You wanna know what's going on. You wanna get some answers to your questions. You know, um, you name it, timing, what's happening in their life, all those types of things. And I feel like this is a mirrored thing. Mirroring came out, came up in the divine masculines, um, this portion of theirs too. And, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Ooh, I'm sorry. Um, it is extremely late and I am trying to go and work out first thing in the morning. Hopefully that still works out to my benefit. And anyway, so this came out in the divine masculine reading as well. So I don't think that you're alone here. Even though it didn't come out in their particular reading, I do feel like this energy is floating between the two of you. There's a missing, there's a yearning, there's a wanting. Of course. And you you both have questions. You know, whether it is about, you know, like what can happen if this really does return and I totally have this, you know, like all scrunched up to one side of the screen. Um, what What's going to happen if I choose to come back? If I choose to say this, can I say, you, you have those types of questions, but it's, it's not the time for answers right now. So you have to keep invoking your free will. And for some of you, that free will may be like, okay, I am going to reach out. I'm going to do what I haven't done in a while, ever, whatever. It, it, no matter what it is, you're going to invoke your free will and you're going to be learning some things. This is a period for you to be learning some things, whether it is directly with your counterpart or not. 
maybe what some of you are doing is you are evoking your free will to to move on from this, not break the tie, not anything like that, but in order to move on with your life and you're learning things with that. So where you're finding yourself is in a totally new direction. And with mask here, I need to know what, I've, yeah, the answer is no. You're not meant to um, put on any additional mask. You know, like we're not taking one off just to put on another one. It's not like that. I think right now this whole new direction is a total new way of life for you since finding out about, uh, you know, divine counterparts or dealing with the drama that's come with it, dealing with the separation, dealing with the karma, whatever. You're, you're moving on from that. You have like this new lease on life. You are so freed you're not even taking anything with you. You're just embarking on this journey. And I think that's pretty sweet. So let's see, you know, um, what areas. No, um, this is rooted in for you. Where is this coming from? Why is this happening for the divine feminines, please? That new direction is coming from, you know, you being petty Betty. And there. Hmm. It's like I smell something. I don't know if that's coming from outside or what. ruthless so i talking about in the check-in video about cold calculated closed off you know you wanted to show your counterpart like i can play the game too lust unlovable let's get a few more You wanted to let them know, like, yeah, you can sit up here and do this, that, and the third, and I can do it too. But the only thing is, you know, you you have more alignment in your life where it's not going to sit well if you try to live like the divine masculines are living, walking away, elusive, absolutely vengeful came out for them too okay so what is this saying i feel like this is in relation to what i was talking about earlier that cold nature you became and it's not their fault okay i want to say that first because i can feel some of you being like well i only became that way because of what they did to me it's not personal you are coming from the perspective of it is personal because I would never choose to do that to them. It is not personal because they are coming from a certain place, uh, certain learned behaviors. No excuse. Definitely not trying to make any type of excuse for them. But again, we all have different coping mechanisms. And what the divine masculines have used, used to cope have hurt you. It wasn't a problem until then, though, was it, Divine Feminines? If we're being honest, what they chose to do, what they told you that they used to do, all those types of things, it wasn't an issue for you until you were on the receiving end. So you have utilized that as your framework to turn to these behaviors. In addition, you have had to learn those behaviors. So just because they did it, it was a switch. 
you already had those characteristics in you in the first place, okay? And so what I think you, some of you have done, I, I, I actually kind of want to rearrange this, but I, I can see where Divine is trying to outline some of the, the timeline here. So what you've chosen to do, you know, you've chosen to live a little bit more low level. It's not about love for you. It's more about for show. It is more like I, I want some of you to even think about the fact like, are you really, really in love with your counterpart? Like, let's just be real. All of the things that they have done to you and let's take like, unconditional love out of the picture for this, because I'm not trying to sit up here and tell you, you know, to tell me what you want to say. What do you what what do you truly feel? After everything that has gone down between you and this other person, are you really in love with them? Are, have you really forgiven them? Do you really think that you would want them back in this very moment? I want you to be real with yourself right now, Divine Feminines. I want you to really check in with yourself. Does not matter what it is that they are doing or anything like that. Up until this moment, everything else that has transpired within your connection, is that what you truly want? So what you have done is, again, you've tried to live like them. You've tried to live from here. And it doesn't work for you. It doesn't work for you. I keep hearing this hissing. Um, because what you truly feel like is that you're unlovable. This one person, whatever you have done, given to them, said to them the plans that you've made etc etc is because you feel that you are unlovable and now it's time for you to walk away from that perspective some of you have chosen to walk away from having that type of mindset but there's still something that you're being elusive about here and like i, I feel like that's where the questions are stemming from you need to check in with yourself before you get here Divine masculines have utilized this, whether they've known it or not. They have been extremely vengeful because they've been doing things to either retaliate um, from previous pains or from what they have believed was actually going on, whether or not that was the case. And for you, I think that this is a warning. I think that, it, again, if you try to do what the divine masculines have done, you're not only going to impede your process, you're going to, you know, take all the work that you have been doing and, you know, add more time on, like, onto your sentence is what I want to say. And even though this is not about, I really want everyone to get out of their head, it is not about forcing the connection to come back together. And you know my belief, I firmly believe that, we are not put on this planet together at the same time to not eventually find our way back to each other. But again, free will has a play here. And this is not to try and force the connection to come back together at all. But right now, I think that you are really being warned that if you continue down this road, if you don't choose to walk away and be honest about some things if you don't deal with the unlovable feelings that you have you will end up here back to square one and i think for you this again this has been all about self-worth it's it's been about putting the energy into yourself versus into this connection into anything else besides what's really here to you know advance your life so let's kind of see what areas you need to be working on specifically okay that was quick impartiality okay release you got a lot of crown chakra energy here
I, I love that we saw spring earlier and I keep looking at these paint cans, which makes me think of the Libra scales. And my thought process went immediately to the Libra um, full moons. There were two of them, two of them. You know, vanity also came out in the divine masculine reading. Complacency. Oof. Oof. What have you been more in love with? The routine. Who you thought they were. Abundance. Yes. Blessings are coming. Let's get one more to okay. Recovery. Instinct. I'll put it down here actually this showed itself underneath um, the bottom of the deck card for the divine masculines what we do no I like it angled okay uh, sorry y'all I'm always playing with the cards to see how I like it to look so impartiality I, I again like I said I went directly into the two Libra um, full moons that happened earlier this year and so I would not be surprised if that is kind of where some of this shift started for you um, I, I just I wouldn't I um, at, as time has proceeded on it has led you into this releasing headspace but for some of you it I, I think you're still resisting that there has to be a releasing of the idea of this connection being what it is that you want it to be. It's not for looks. It's not for show. Um, with the Divine Masculines was a pretty similar message where, you know, you, you're starting to understand what the real what the real nature of this connection is supposed to be. And it just it isn't for vanity purposes. It is not. Many of you know how difficult this journey is. And so there, the, 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 bright, the brightness of it all is what we all want as an end result, right? It's for the connection to come back together and it stand the test of time. But for right now, like you're supposed to get bruised and beaten and battle worn because it's, it's, that's where you're learning the lessons. We saw that card for you, right? That is where you're learning the lessons. And it cannot be for complacency anymore. How many of you would sit up here <clears throat> and share the story of how, you know, how you two ended and what led up to that point? You know, or maybe there's been multiple endings that all comes from a place of being complacent. Places in this word it comes from that place but instead of continuing to hold on to this i think that's where you know your instinct is supposed to kick in that is where your intuition is supposed to kick in so that you can finally start inviting this stuff in abundance big dreams getting back into what you're truly meant to be here for as as yourself what your life purpose is, that may not involve them. <laughs> and I swear I was saying in the Divine Masculine reading that all of it was supposed to be, there's a key, there's something missing, there's a key missing, you. Yes, it's you. There is recovery potential here, okay? But it, it's, you got to do this. My friends, you have got to do this. We have some heart chakra energy here. Trickery. You know, that manipulation and stuff, not supposed to be there. Self-discovery. I love it. Leave behind doing this type of stuff. Leave behind thinking that you can manipulate this situation to come back at any moment before it is supposed to, if it is supposed to. Are you at peace with if this never comes to be? 
when you get there, there's nothing else that can stop you because you won't have any other connection to it. It won't be, it has to be this way or I, I can't live, I can't do, I can't whatever. It will just happen naturally. So let's close this out and just get some messages from spirit on how, you know, your healing can be aided can move forward you too okay green prosperity health and abundance i want you to focus on your purpose focus on the things that are going to you know project your life into a whole other arena oh love it door transition Cloud shapes. Guardian angel. There. I smell something. Sever. Knife. Gotta release. Gotta release. Just to help divine feminine feminines heal, please. There we go. Hardship weave. Let's get one more, please. Okay. Ah, got oh, we got a few more. I will take them. I'll show you that after. We get 888. Okay. Abundance number. New opportunities and abundance are coming your way soon. We have snake. And that's where I think the smell is coming from. Like I told you, I keep hearing hissing. Okay. We have swan loyalty. Apron, service, eggs, incubation. Came out with a divine masculine reading. Oh my gosh, okay. Gray. Depressed, detached, unemotional. So where is this going? What is this saying, right? Top line, I already told you, I think that you need to be focusing on something else. There's a door here, use it. We already saw walking away. We've seen release. We've seen all of these different cards that are saying that you have got to change your direction, divine feminines. And unfortunately, at this time, it should be leading to nobody else but your damn self. You have divine protection behind you. There is a reason that this is happening the way that it should. So instead of continuing to fight against the wind, flow with it. Look at this. It's a heart in the sky. Flow with it. You have such an innate knowing already. You've been going through this cycle for a long time. Not once, but twice, at least. There are layers to, you know, the dark night of the soul. You have been going through it. And yet you continue to make it about somebody else. No more. Sever that tie. Not the tie to the connection. Sever the tie to the idea that you have had. And it's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. It's, it's going to be difficult to try to switch the energy from something you have invested in for so long back to yourself. I feel like that is some of the reason why you have diverted your energy elsewhere is because you have not wanted to deal with yourself. And because you will shift that energy back to yourself, you are going to have to, to look at the, the things that you still need to work on. 
So the spider and the weave card here. You have got to get out of the web that you have created for yourself. And again, that's why even, you know, 888 and the green card, they're on the same side. Abundance is here for you. Is here for you. Instead of this being forbidden, because I keep looking here, it's black and it's white. Well, it's black and it's white, right? There's a balance that needs to happen here. And I feel like instead of it saying forbidden, I feel like it has more to do with, um, you know, the, the partnership itself. It is going to flow how it's meant to. Know that they're loyal. You know, you may not think that, but they are. We know that you are. And know that eventually you will, you'll find your way back together. So serve yourself right now. That's what I feel. Serve yourself. And just like with them, I feel like there's going to be some type of idea that, that hits you. But avoid this. I feel like the bottom of the deck energy has been more, of, except for the new direction, has been more about what divine is warning you against. You know, even here, this would be a decision that you make to stay in this energy when they're trying so much to, to help you switch you, your gaze even in another direction. Maturity came out for them too. Oh. If you have to, you know, stop listening to readings. If you have to, end social media. Do whatever you have to do. Get rid of whatever you need to get rid of in your life right now. With the eclipse energy, you have a window of opportunity to do just that. You have the chance to let go of what doesn't serve you anymore. You don't even have to put your eggs into one basket anymore. It's time for you to grow. Grow further. Let me put it that way. I don't want to discount the work that you have already done. That's my message for you, Divine Feminines. Oh, paper towel here. Sorry, one second. <laughs> that is my message for you all. I love you all so, so, so much. Ugh. It's about you now. about you now. Until next time, the Abbey Phoenix here. Be blessed. Bye.